Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video I'm going to be going over how to scan for rootkits on your Linux system. So before I, before we, we get started, I just want to say that I don't actually have any rootkits on my system. It's kind of hard to just give yourself, you know, a worm or a virus, you know, for, for testing purposes. But uh, that being said, if you do have one of these, if you suspect you have one of these, this program is one of the best ways to check for them. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I have the packages.org page open here. And as you can see, we know that Tiger is available on Debian 9, the current version, current stable, and every version of Ubuntu. It's also on Slackware and CentOS 5, and I'm using Manjaro Linux, which is a derivative of Arch Linux, and we know that Tiger is on here too. If you check the link in the description below, you can see how to build the program from source if you don't have a supported distribution. So scanning for rootkits with this program is pretty easy. So first you need to get a root shell, and you can do that with sudo s or with su and then just that tag symbol enter your password and now with your root shell you can just do tiger now this is going to go and scan a lot of different areas it doesn't just scan for root kits which is why i kind of prefer this program to the uh r killer the uh, i think it's rk hunter or one of those programs uh, you know, it can scan a lot of different things, so we just got to wait for it to go through. All right, so our security report is done, so now we can either copy this directly or we can go into our var log tiger directory. And by the way, guys, some of you are going to wonder why I had you gain root instead of just using sudo. Well, you're not able to access this directory without a root shell, so there's not really any point to running Tiger with sudo. You can do it, but I mean, you can't view the logs that way, so once you're in there, you can do an ls, and then we see there's a lot of different security reports. Now, the one that I just ran, this is the file name, so we're going to have to find this one here. We can click copy, and then just type in cat, and uh, you know, if you want a better view of it, you can add more to the end of it, and then this is just going to let us tap through all of the security information here that we've got and uh, you know it doesn't appear that I have a rootkit but if I did it would show up here under the warn uh, information specifically uh, let me see if I did have one it would show up in this file here and that's how you can check for a rootkit with Tiger now that we're at the end of the video, I want to briefly talk about this. So there are tools out there on Linux that you can use to uninstall a rootkit. And they don't always work. I mean, you can get rid of them. My personal opinion is you should go through, back up your personal data, and uh, use Clam AV to scan for it. You know, scan all your files, make sure there's nothing bad in them. Back them up and completely delete your operating system because you know, rootkits are very hard to get rid of, and it's just safer to just start over. Some people might disagree with me and say, oh, you should just use RK Hunter and, you know, hunt for the rootkit and delete it and get rid of it. But, you know, that doesn't always work, and in, in, in my opinion, it's, it's just safer to have that peace of mind knowing that you can just start over with your backup. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just a quick little overview of how to get, you know, how to scan for a rootkit.